Send sending up on this stupid ship. We've been put to work. Last night we were given the grace of resting though, due to Kirishima's wing injury. I could tell that the damn pirate felt sympathy for us despite the trouble we had brought upon him and his precious boat. That night, you and I had stood pacing around outside the captain's quarters, entrusting the mysterious man to help our dragon, to tend to his wound. It was difficult. Listening to him scream and cry out in pain from behind the thin wood of the door, while the pirate mended the webbing of his wing. The arrow had shot clean through, but Kirishima needed stitching to make sure the split didn't worsen. I'd almost barged in myself, but you held me back. It was for the best that we stayed out of the way, but still. <sighs> we were shown to our quarters underneath a small ship after Kirishima was patched up. It was far from anything special, about the size of a damned broom closet. There was a ratty old bunk bed and a hammock consisting of old freight ropes. Kirishima, of course, took the hammock right away, allowing us the beds. Not that they were much better than the shitty hammock. Despite the bloodied bandages wrapped around his wing, he was still looking out for the both of us. We awoke early the next morning to the sound of screeching gulls and that annoyingly grating voice of that shitty pirate muffled from behind the old wooden door. Morning, you three. Oh, five more minutes. Come on, sleeping beauties. Remember your end of the deal? We only got about five days of travel, so up and at them. I got your scrub brushes and buckets already up on the deck. Meet you up there. If your butts aren't up there in five minutes, I'm coming back down here with a bucket of bilge water. Oh, damn it all. Now that takes a damned cake for the worst night's sleep I have ever had. My damn back. Ah, bed wasn't comfy. Can hardly even call this a bed. Ugh. Traveler, you awake down there? Looks like they're a little woozy. Didn't sleep well either, huh? Oh. I can't really say I got much of a good sleep myself. Well, you heard the captain. We should head up and help out since we're hitching a ride off of him. You'd think the 50 God's damn gold would be enough. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, traveler. Night of sleep like that almost makes me want to take my chances in that hellish forest again. <sighs> Alright. Let's go then. The sooner we get this shit over with, the better. Do you think he'll feed us? <laughs> he better. Probably won't be much, though. So don't get your hopes up. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just hunt when we get back to shore. I can wait that long. Or maybe we can have our traveler use those amazing fishing skills again. <laughs> Better put your back into it, guys. That deck is far overdue for a good scrubbing. Ugh, this is so beneath me. Mm. Boy, Kirishima. Hmm? How's your wing feeling? Oh, it's... well... It's better than it was last night. The stitches are kinda uncomfortable, but... It hasn't ripped anymore, thank goodness. The bandages keep me from opening them on impulse, so I won't end up stretching any of the stitches. Good. Glad you're feeling alright. Traveler! You okay up there? Uh, sorry! I didn't mean to startle you. Are you okay? Ah, oh, that ladder looks so rickety. Please be careful. Hey! Don't insult my ladder! I made that myself, thank you very much. Don't fall off the mast, idiot. 
If the arrows are too stuck, just leave them. We'll get them when we're done down here. I think they can handle it just fine. Besides, you two are doing pretty good down there. That deck is looking nice. Should have hired you three sooner. <laughs> Man, got those arrows all the way up here on the underside of the crow's nest. Not to mention they're made of Everstar pine. They were after you three bad, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. Huh? Oh, Everstar pine. It's a tree that grows in Delaware. The other continent that we're heading to. It's used to make very sturdy and very deadly arrows. You can fire them from really strong bows and get a lot of force behind them. You guys are just lucky the arrow your scaly friend was shot with wasn't poisoned. <laughs> oh, I saw you have a bow. I don't know if it's strong enough to use these, but you're welcome to try them. I don't have a use for them anyways. Besides kindling, of course. You want them? Yeah? <laughs> well, I'll try to keep them in one piece then. Can't make any promises though. <laughs> Some of these are in there. How the hell? Kotsky? It's nothing. It doesn't sound like nothing. You make that face when something's bothering you. Come on. What's wrong? <sighs> Just wondering how a ragtag band of bandits got hold of fire tonics and Everstar arrows. Especially since those are rare outside of Dello. Huh. It's not adding up and I don't like it. Huh? You kidding me? Bandits are known for stealing stuff. Even more so than us pirates. They probably just snagged them from somewhere. <laughs> Didn't know royalty was so paranoid. <laughs> Shows what you know about royals, then. It's okay, Bakugo. They probably nabbed it from a caravan or something. Bandits are pretty unpredictable like that. If they went through Milicin, there's all kinds of traders and merchants that would go through there. They probably just robbed them. I guess so. Mm. Let's not think too deeply about it, okay? We have enough on our plates right now, so... Let's just focus on getting to shore safe and sound. It's been a long time since we've been to the other continent, so we can look forward to that. Yeah, whatever. I just can't... I can't fight this feeling that something's... brewing. Huh? I don't hear any scrubbing, guys! Come on! Ugh! <laughs> Rations for supper? Aww. What did you expect, shitty lizard? It's what we had for breakfast and lunch, too. You're lucky I'm even sharing with you three. Stop your complaining. Uh, sorry. I'm grateful. I really am. Man. Today was a lot of work. I got splinters in my fingers still. Ow. Hmm? Oh, thanks, Traveler. It's kinda hard to get a hold of them with my claws. Well, I have to admit, you three really pulled your weight today. The deck's the cleanest I've ever seen it. Got this ship a while back when I retired and became a one-man crew. <laughs> Haven't ever seen her this sparkly before. Ow! N no, I'm okay. Keep going. They're only splinters. I can handle them. Ouch. That one was deep. I'm good. Promise. Thought pirates enjoyed roaming the seas with their crews. What got you going off on your own, huh? Mutiny or something? <laughs> Crew made you walk the plank, matey. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Ow! More like... We had differing opinions on what piracy was. They went their way and I went mine. Uh, please tell me that was the last one. Differing opinions? Oh, thank God. Pirates? Ouch. Huh. I could have sworn they all shared the same rum-addled pea brain. So what was it then, huh? Well... 
Guess you could say I wasn't a fan of the way most of them treated people. I was in it for the money. Wealth, you know. And then our raid started to, uh, end with not just objects and treasure on our ships. What do you mean? My crew was starting to abduct people, taking them from their homes and keeping them captive on our ship. Hostages. I didn't agree with it, or the way they were handling things, so I decided I was done. So, now I'm retired, or just a solo pirate. <laughs> I do things my way. <laughs> a pirate with a conscience. And I thought unicorns were rare. You okay, Bakugo? Fine, idiot. Just... tired from working all day. Heh. <laughs> you ready to head in already? The stars are hardly out. I'm just... I'm tired. <sighs> okay. Bakugo, you barely touched your supper. Just not feeling dried shitty meat right now is all. Here, take it. Split it with the Traveler. Don't give me that look, dummy. You two need it more than me anyway. You should eat, you know. You get malnourished quickly at sea. I ate enough today. <clears throat> I'm off to bed. Wanna get a head start at sleeping. Cause those beds are goddamn awful. Ugh. Really prissy prince, aren't ya? Shut up! <laughs> we'll be down soon, Bakugo. You finished eating, Traveler? Good. It's okay if you didn't eat it all. Just finish as much as you can manage. I don't know if you noticed or not, but your prince was looking a little green in the gills. Hmm? <laughs> you know, seasick. Must have a bit of a weak gut, huh? Oh! Ah, uh, poor Bakugo. You think his stomach is upset? I've seen dozens of seasick men in my life, so I'm pretty sure I can recognize it by now. He's been looking pretty queasy all day. Ah, uh, poor Blasty. Is there anything we can do to ease it? Well, I have some potions on me. Perfect for seasickness. Helps with nausea. You want me to grab one for you so you can bring it down to him when you two decide to turn in? That would be perfect, but... Are you sure? Potions aren't cheap. <laughs> Aw, the dragon thinks I actually paid for them. Cute. It's no big deal. Here, I'll go grab one for you. Maybe a couple in case one of you needs it too. Sit tight. Thank you. Man, poor Kotsky. I didn't even notice. He's kind of good at hiding when he's not feeling well. Oh, yeah. He does it a lot. I mean... One time, he was literally poisoned and he hid it so well from me I didn't even notice until he collapsed while we were traveling one day. Scared me real bad. Thought he was a goner until I dragged him all the way to the next town over to see a healer. He, uh... Thinks reacting to any sort of discomfort or injury makes him look... weak. I think it's a barbarian thing. Or... <laughs> maybe just a him thing. But I really do worry about him sometimes. Even the strongest of men need help at times, and... I hope he'll come to realize that someday. That he can lean on both of us, you know? Alright, grab you three of these. They're in pretty small vials, because you don't need a lot. Just drinking one of these will have you set straight for a couple days. They're pretty potent. But, that means they have a very weird texture, unfortunately. Uh, here. Thanks so much. This should help him feel better. I hope. Uh, we, uh, should probably get to bed, huh, Traveler? What do you say? You feeling as sleepy as you look? 
was a pretty big yawn. Yeah, I think it's time to turn in. <laughs> so the lot of you are early sleepers, huh? Well, if you can't sleep, I'll be in my quarters. I don't usually turn in until later. Gotta keep the ship on course, after all. Thanks, Captain. We appreciate it. Eh, just call me Saro. Captain's getting a bit old. Now go on, you two. Go get some rest. <laughs> all right, Saro. Come on, Traveler. Let's head down. For a pirate, Saro seems like a pretty nice guy. Guess we got kinda lucky ending up on this ship. We, uh, didn't have much of a choice, and I know Bakugo's still a little sour from losing his gold, but I think we're in good hands. It's just gold. We can always get it back. And at the very least, we're making it across the sea safely. Uh, here we are. After you, Traveler. <laughs> oh, looks like our prince was pretty tired. <laughs> well, we should keep it down then. Uh, this hammock sure is itchy. Um, well, good night, traveler. See you in the morning. Oh, boy. What the hell are you doing up so early? I, I ran out because I, uh, remembered that I forgot something up here on the deck last night. You know how shitty pirates are. I didn't want that bastard stealing it, so... Huh? No, I didn't get sick. If you think that's what happened, then you need to get your eyes checked. Just shut up. I'm not some weakling that gets seasick. I'm fine. So this is where you guys are. Woke up all alone. Thought something happened. Wait. Are you serious, Traveler? Huh? Bakugo, you got sick? Are you okay? Want me to go ask Sarah for some water? I did not get sick, shitty scales. I'm fine. Hmm. Oh, Bakugo. Last night, Sarah gave us some potions to help with seasickness. Would you wanna- No. I don't need to rely on shitty potions. Besides, how are you just gonna trust whatever concoction that damn pirate gives you, huh? Well, they remind me of the kind of potions that Ochako would make for us. They're a similar color to the ones she gave us for this kind of thing. Here, why don't you at least take one with you? Just in case the nausea gets worse. <sighs> Fine. Gimme it. Don't look so smug, Traveler. 
or I'll pitch this thing overboard just to spite you. <laughs> With the potion tucked into my pocket, I tried to resist the urge to take it. But when we were offered breakfast, I had no choice but to give in and down the damn thing. It didn't taste like much, but it was thick like syrup, and almost gritty in a way. It almost made my stomach twist just as much as the sway and pitch of the ship. But soon it settled, and I was able to eat. The three of you gave me smug looks, and I almost wanted to throw up on purpose to spite you. But, admittedly, that damned potion still made me feel much better. There were three more days to go, traveling the sea. And the less of it spent in misery, the better. It was bad enough the deck of the ship was blisteringly hot. I didn't need to be fighting an upset stomach on top of that. The three of us moved as a damn pirate asked, working here and there and sweating our asses off while doing it. Kirishima was fine in the heat, of course. Lucky bastard. Thankfully, that damn sappy dragon sheltered us with his wings when we took a small break for lunch. Life at sea was... infuriating, if you ask me. Close quarters with a limited amount of things to do to keep yourself entertained. It was no wonder some sailors went mad. Time passed slowly. Annoyingly so. But soon we were two days out from Delalen, and tonight... Tonight felt different from the others. Kirishima seemed slightly tense as the sun dipped behind the horizon, as did the pirate. I had a feeling we were starting to sail into dangerous territory, a theory that was confirmed before we settled in that night. Here. You three are gonna need this before you turn in. Oh! Cotton! I guess I wasn't just hearing things. We're getting close to merfolk territory, aren't we? We sure are. Thankfully, the part we're going to be going through, it's a relatively small area. We'll be through it by sunrise. I'm going to rig the wheel and set the sail so we'll cruise through it. Just make sure to put that stuff in your ears when you go to sleep and stay below deck until I come get you guys in the morning, all right? Don't want to risk any of you falling overboard. Because if you do, there's really nothing anyone can do to save you. Oh, man. The ocean's pretty scary, huh? <laughs> She's beautiful, but she'll kill you without mercy if you don't mind yourself. The song they sing won't affect me. I'm not easily swayed by that kind of magic, or whatever it is. I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. I've seen men with the will far stronger than most end up overboard. And those same men turn down the earplugs. So here, just take them. Just a safety precaution, that's all. Fine. Hm. I'm turning in now anyways. Sun drained the life out of me today. <laughs> Alright, Kotsky. We should head in with you. You think you're tired enough for bed now, Traveler? <laughs> Thought so. See, life ain't all fun and games. You three were a huge hand today, though. I'll say that much. After voyaging by myself for so long, it's nice to have some company on board with me nowadays. <laughs> Alright, well, sleep well. Don't forget the cotton. We won't. <laughs> Night, Sarah. Wait up, Bakugo. What? Why'd you stop all of a sudden? I... I just... I thought I saw something in the water. Like what? It was shimmery. It caught the moonlight along its scales, whatever it was. Come on, Kirishima. Traveler, keep walking. Right, okay. Maybe I'm just a little paranoid now. Seeing things. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. After you guys. As uncomfortable as this hammock is, after a long day of work, I think I'd happily fall asleep on just about any surface. Boy, don't forget to put the cotton in your ears, you idiots. Do it now before you fall asleep. Right, okay. Good. <sighs> good night then. What? <sighs> I said good night. Boy. Traveler, put them in. Now. Good. Now. Get some sleep. We have an early morning tomorrow. Traveler! Traveler, stop! Get away from the railing! You're an idiot. I told you not to take the cotton out. Come on, quickly. Back inside the cabin. Sirens. Merfolk. And you. You just experienced how their enchantment works. The song they sing is a somber, beautiful one. Haunting. It's as if your body moves on its own. And they lure you down into the depths of the sea. People who have been unlucky enough to let themselves fall captive to the spell are never seen again. Lost to the unforgiving vastness, to the unmistakable horrors of the deep. Listen to me. Look at me. You're going to sleep in my bunk with me, and you're going to be against the wall. Understand? That way, I can cage you in. Make sure you stay in bed the rest of the night. Come on, get in. Move over, these beds are small. Don't give me that look. I, I know you're scared, confused. Come here. Just shut up and take a breath, all right? You're safe. You didn't mean to take the cotton out, huh? huh. 
I suppose I'll believe you. Must have done it when you were half asleep. Or... Tch. Those damn mermaids somehow compelled you to. Either way, you're safe now. You hear me? I got you. So just... Put that fluffy shit back in your ears and sleep, okay? Here. Lift up a bit. I'm gonna wrap my cape around you and tuck it under. <laughs> there. No way in hell you're moving without me knowing. You're welcome. No need to keep on thanking me for just doing what I need to. Oh, come on, close your eyes. You need a rest. Slept like a rock last night. Oh. Traveler, how did you uh, end up in Bakugo's bed? Are you serious? <sighs> Shut your mouth, dragon. It's too early to be yelling like that. I can hear you through the damn cotton. S sorry, sorry. Huh. Just. Kotsky, the Traveler almost. Why didn't you wake me up? I didn't have time. It was either spend 20 minutes trying to wake up your sorry ass or save them from a horrible watery death. You should be thanking me. N no, I... I am thankful. Trust me. Here, Traveler. You're up, so... There. You're free. Now go to him so he can fuss over you like a mother hen. I just... I worry. I can't believe I slept through all that. It must have been so scary. Come here. I guess... All that really matters now is that you're okay. How are you feeling, Gon? Oh, your head hurts. Can't blame you. We'll get you some water as soon as Sarah comes down and gets us, okay? Don't want to risk anything. <sighs> Just two more days of this hell and we'll be docking in Havenfall. So... <clears throat> Let's get this over with. Just two more days. That's all we had left to endure of this grueling voyage. When that bastard pirate said he was going to put us to work, he wasn't fooling us. Day in and out, we worked tirelessly. Scrubbing every inch of the deck, filling the holes that were left by those bandits' arrows, even aiding and navigating through rough patches of the sea and mending fishing nets. We managed to catch some fresh fish with them to supplement the rations we had. Hiroshima was bouncing around like a damn star rabbit over it. Not that I could blame him. It was a much needed improvement to the food. And as we sailed ever closer to the port town, my mind was turning over what to do. We had previously had a few days leeway flying on Kirishima's back, but now that we were broke, we had to make back the coin we had lost. Enough for an inn, to refill our provisions, and to replace what we had lost on the beach when those bandits blindsided us. Sure, it was just some basic shit like utensils and our bedrolls, but it was necessary if we were going to keep going. We'd need some cold weather gear too as we traveled further north towards the Strihorn Mountains. All of it cost coin, which meant we'd probably have to spend our small window of free time doing some jobs around town. Ugh. Menial labor was beneath me, but 
I'd do what had to be done. It irritated me to no end having an empty wallet. All my hard work, gone. Lost in town, streets are spent filling bellies, but... I suppose there were worse things to waste it on. The days we spent voyaging across the sea felt grueling and long, but... They did come to pass. Before we knew it, we could see the unmistakable mass of land at the horizon. And by nightfall that evening, we were finally docking at Haven Falls bustling port. I would be lying if I said I didn't feel relieved that we were finally back on land, and back on our way to get you home. <clears throat> All right. That's the damn last of your stupid crates of whatever this shit is. <laughs> Those, my friend, are the finest pelts you will ever see. Figured, since we're docking here, I'd sell them now. <laughs> whatever. I'd say a deal is a deal, though. We're on land now, so we don't owe you any more labor, pirate. Don't worry. You three are officially off the hook now. <laughs> you gonna head to a tavern? Relax a bit? Or are gonna turn in early? <sighs> A tavern sounds nice. No. We don't have nearly enough gold for a tavern. So we gotta find some place that'll let us spend the night. <sighs> Appreciate the ride. Hmm. Hey. You three. Here. Huh? Your 50 gold back, your highness. You three really helped me out. And, uh... Guess I really missed having my own crew on board. You were some really nice company. Saro, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Guess it wasn't all bad. Now, come on you two. I need to find a damn bath. Uh, one more thing. Huh? Here, Kirishima. Come grab one of these crates. Take it with you. Huh? You mean these pelts? Weren't you gonna sell all these? I have five of those crates. Losing one ain't gonna hurt too bad. You three can sell it. Get some gold for your travels. Oh, Saro, you really don't have to do that for us. You've done more than enough. Allowing us to use your vessel, patching up my wing and stuff. Oh, thank you. Don't gotta thank me. Now go on. Go find yourself an inn with the bath. You deserve it after all that work. Try the drunk mermaid down that way. Tell him I sent you. <laughs> okay. Nice meeting you, Captain. <laughs> Good meeting you three, too. Try to stay out of trouble, huh? Can't promise I'll be there the next time some bandits are chasing you. <laughs> Never thought I'd meet a generous pirate in my life. <laughs> this trip's been full of firsts, huh? Some good and some bad, but... I gotta say, it's turned out a lot more interesting than I thought it would. That's putting it lightly. We're just lucky we made it across safely. Let's see. You said that inn was down this way? Mm. Oh, I can smell some of the food stalls. It's making me super hungry. Do you think the inn will have something tasty? I don't doubt it. That pirate bastard doesn't seem the type to recommend a half-assed place. So it'll be decent. At least it better be. I'll wring his neck next time I see him. Yeah, Traveler. We'll handle selling the furs in the morning. Right now, the only thing on my mind is a bath, some food, and some proper sleep. Huh. If I never see a ship again, it'll be too soon. Aw, oh, it wasn't that bad. At least it was a ship with a sail, and we didn't have to row all the way here. Oh! You see the inn, Traveler? Oh, there it is! Ugh, oh, what a gaudy sign. <sighs> Alright, let's head in. Sooner we talk to the innkeeper, the better. Need to make sure this place isn't a damn brothel or something. I don't know. I think it's kind of charming in a way. <laughs> Just, come on, you two. The place wasn't all bad. It seemed clean and comfortable, a quaint little inn that was decorated with nautical trinkets and paintings of the sea. The atmosphere inside was quiet, comfortable. 
The moment Kirishima mentioned we were sent here by that pirate, we were given a room for the night without cost. I was thankful that we'd be keeping our limited amount of gold, because I knew we'd need it down the line. With that much ground, we still have to cover until we reach the Strihorn Mountains. After settling into our room, the three of us took long baths. It felt nice after five days out at sea. My skin was so covered in dried salt. <sighs> after cleaning up and having a nice hearty meal of stew, bread, and roasted salmon, the three of us were back in our room, crawling into bed with exhaustion. Oh, elders, this feels so comfy. <sighs> yeah, way better than some cramped closet posing as a bedroom. Glad I don't have to worry about either of you two idiots wandering off, either. <sighs> Did you put the crate where I told you shitty scales? Mm -hmm. See? Right in front of the door, just like you told me. That way. If someone tries to get in... <sighs> we'll hear them. Good. All right, well, there's two beds, and I'm claiming this one to myself for tonight. <laughs> no problem. I'm sure a traveler wouldn't mind squeezing in with me. Whatever, just don't wake me up. Hey, you. My wing's fine, hon. Don't you worry about me. I'm thankful it was just a clean cut through with a thin little arrow. Could have been a lot worse. Just get some rest. You look like you're about to drop off any second now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not far behind you. Hmm. <sighs> 